Hello, everybody. Uh, now, YouTube says we got poor quality going right now. That's not good. Hopefully, it's just saying that and it's not actually true. Because OBS says everything should be good. Ooh. Graffiti Games. Dot com. This game saves automatically. And here we go, Blue Fire. So, this is the patron, Patreon stream request winner for May 15th, 2021. It was kind of automatically the winner because I already, there was like three games that was requested for this month and I already beat one and I started the other one, Guacamelee, which I'm going to finish as well. But, uh, we're going to go ahead and start on this since it, you know, I don't know, it's just that time. I don't like that the A button on the controller, uh, you switch. You know what? I should have got the PC version just for that. I don't know what I was thinking. Um... Yet jump is the B button, of course, because that's where it should be. And Y is attack, of course, because that's where it should be. Sorry, I'm like, I'm going on another uh, old man rant about the button placement on the Switch game controller. But anyways, um, I remember watching Dragnik stream this a bit, but I don't think I really watched heavily. And it had some like Wind waker -y vibes but also like 3D platformer vibes. It might have just been like the animation, the art style was similar to Wind Waker, I'm not sure. But I am interested in playing it. So, I'm sure we'll learn all the controls once we get into the game actually. Let's go back. And I remember this game actually had some, uh, there was some bug actually where you could get soft locked like when the game first came out but I think they fixed it so I hope so and hopefully that way we won't have to oh you could actually name your file when's the last time you played a game where you, you name a file it's been a while hasn't it wait caps lock oh see I thought that was caps lock because the letters were capitalized they fooled me Boom. There we go. And... Oh. Newcomer and recommended. That... Okay, I don't think I've ever seen difficulty settings like this before. Newcomer and recommended. So, you have newcomer which is like, I technically am a newcomer, I've never played the game before. But then you have recommended. And that's like... I'm assuming it's easy and normal, if I had to guess. If recommended, you know? I doubt they would recommend hard, that wouldn't really make sense, would it? So we're gonna go with that. Damage dealt after a parry strike. Oh, okay. Good to know. Ooh. Really, I'm, I am digging the art, like, immediately. That floating castle reminds me of that Yu-Gi-Oh card. I forget, I forget what it was called, but that, you know, that Yu-Gi-Oh card. Oh, and it, there it goes. I'm not seeing anything in the chat here. Let me refresh. Because we got five people watching. There we go. Hey, everyone in the chat. Sorry, your, your comments were not popping up. I think YouTube was busted. I haven't welcomed anyone. Because there's times where, you know, people aren't chatting, but we have five people watching, so that seemed kind of weird. So, hey, uh, Fak and hey, Joe. Did you end up going with the Switch version? The Switch version... Um, the name of your save file and near replicant is very important, actually. 
Okay, I don't reckon. Oh, hey, Ducky. I don't recognize this RE8 mercenary map. <laughs> Reminds me of Twilight Princess, says Ducky. I could see that. Okay. So now I can see everyone. Everything's good. We are we're floaty. I, I do really like how the game looks so far. So yeah, this was uh, recommended by Joe Retro, who is in the chat at this very moment. So the UI is ripped from Breath of the Wild, okay. Which I don't personally have a lot of experience with. Just testing out the platform and seeing how it feels so far. Pretty good. Oh no, that looks like a bunch of us's. Ow! Something hurt me. Oh, that. That would make sense. Naris Diary. Do not read. Day 8-10. It feels like we've been doing this for ages. I fear the others are losing hope. I don't think we have much time left either. I hope Ikiros knows what he's, uh, what she's doing. Okay. Interesting. Jars take like a... Oh. So you automatically seem to lock on to th certain things when you're... Oh, never mind. Maybe your attack just... No, I think it does. It seems to have kind of an auto lock on, maybe. Yeah, yeah. See, because I'm looking down. But when I hit attack, he automatically goes forward and hits the wall. So I guess it depends on if you're guys looking at something. Because I noticed he was, like, locking onto the lava or magma or whatever that is that was hurting me. Dangerous. Do not touch. See, he'll go right for it. It's, uh... Interesting. Yeah, see now how, like, it kind of... You go right to the magma there after you're comboing the barrels. It's a little weird. Not gonna lie. Uh, Ikaro's notes. Test subject 512. Subject appeared to be moving for a while, but was quickly corrupted. The following pages are worn out. Oh, is it kind of choppy right now? Um, let me restart OBS and see if that helps at all. Give me one second. Okay, hopefully that helps. You did also tell me to set this, to lock the stream to a certain, uh, whoops, I don't know if I could do that from here. I remember, I just remembered he told me to lock the stream at a certain FPS and I completely forgot. Flammable chemicals. Oh, well there they go. Oh, sorry, that was the PC version, gotcha. So we're good. Oh, there's a little arrow that appears over the things that I guess you're targeting. Okay. Move camera. The platform can bug out if you play at high frame rate, so I gotcha. Um, is it is it looking a little smoother now? Because your OBS was showing actually that it was having some issues. Press jump, hold to jump higher. Oh yeah, you could jump pretty high. And if it's still a little choppy, I can always turn the bit rate down a bit. I don't think this is one of those games where you need like super high bit rate. It's looking good? Okay, nice. Restore health. Press... Is that up on the D-pad? Yes. Okay, there's like a slight delay to healing, so that's probably good to keep in mind if you're in the middle of battle. Wait. Alchemist South Tower, the door's blocked. Alchemist Tower, door is blocked. Storage room. Food storage. Okay. 
Oh, the door just disintegrated into the floor. Use key? Keys can only be used once. Uh, I don't have a key. Weapon room. Wouldn't it be funny if you just never went behind all those doors? Um, I guess. Traveler of the land, when facing evil, do not underestimate the power of emoting. Would you like to learn a new move for 200 ore? I don't have that much. Maybe later. Whoa, look at the way that... Yeah, when you do your third move, the lights outside flash. Watch. Boom. Oh, I guess it's like anything with like light just kind of intensifies in that moment. Do not touch. Fire guard members only. Jay, make sure when you have enough you buy all those moves. I'll try to remember. Uh, right is open menu, left is quick emote. Oh, I can wave. Hello. And then you could pick. Isn't that like a Dark Souls thing? You get little emotes. Huh. Well, that's cute. Wait, where'd my wave go? Uh-oh, I lost my wave. Wasn't I doing a wave with one hand at first? I swear to god I was doing a wave with one hand at first. It's important to get better gear and solve puzzles. Well, that's good to know, because you would think... Uh, you, you would think at first that emotes were just like a visual thing. I feel like I want to roll, like if there was like a roll, but I, I don't think there is. Oh, there's like a dash, that, that works. And you can even lock. That's very Zelda, locking onto things and the screen goes extra widescreen. It doesn't zoom in though, which Zelda does do, so that's a little um, unexpected. Is this a person? Oh, it is a person. Greetings, traveler. Beethoven. My name is Beethoven. I am only but a humble flute player. Gazing upon this incredible view, the wind on my skin, the light in the distance, amazing. Do you really believe that long ago people actually lived out there? Um, nope, I don't believe you. Wave deleted, as you will find out over the course of the stream, the devs clearly really like Zelda. Almost fell off. I did like a Donkey Kong Country jump, like an air jump. Because I started falling and I was able to jump up. Which is good. Alright, so that's a dead end. Bit, bit of, and not gonna translate what that means in French. Uh oh. I was just thinking like 8 bit Beethoven. Is that where we came from? No, no, no. The doors. Well, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. We came through here. So this would be the way. Attack. Interesting, when you walk over the collectibles, they kind of just swell and then vanish rather than like go into your person. And there's the dash. So we could dash over gaps. Nice. There's skulls down here. Oh, our first enemy. It's like a slug de demon, and it's dead. Ow. I do have to say, the fact that your base attack 
makes you jump forward no matter what. And there are things you don't want to touch that you may jump forward into. It's a little... Uh, thanks for stopping in, Ducky. I appreciate it. Hope you have, have a good night or good morning. Good time of day. I'm, I'm kind of hoping we get an attack that doesn't make you dash forward. Uh, maybe maybe later. Because I can foresee lots of like running into hazards that way. Did I just hear a noise? Oh, well, that's what it was. We do have enough points to get that emo. I think it was 200, so I guess we could go back and get that. Might as well, so we don't have to backtrack later. Oh, you could just keep dashing. There's no, like... There's n there isn't really much of a recovery time. Yes. Levitation. I have no more moves for you, warrior. May the queen be with you. So now... Ooh, interesting. Oh, we'll be doing plenty of backtracking, gotcha. Oh yeah, the, the bright things intensify when you dash as well. Dash in the air, very good. Required Vessel of Souls. Oh, we need Vessel of Souls to interact with that, apparently. That's locked. That's locked. Alright, so we're looking for a Vessel of Souls. Has anyone seen any Vessel of Souls around here? Anyone? We haven't really had, um, there wasn't really like a story intro, was there? Like saying who we were or who any, what anything was, it just kind of throws you right into the world, doesn't it? I'm assuming we're going to slowly kind of learn more things as we go on. We did get the little diary logs and the, the bodies of the people who looked like us. Okay. That's weird, I'm not pressing... Okay. So... So it stays locked on even if you're not holding L... L? Anymore? What would be L2 or LZ, I guess? Is that supposed to happen? Oh, it's a toggle! Okay, yeah, see, when I played, like, Ocarina of Time or Zelda or whatever, I, I would have it where you hold it, and then you let go, but I know that's, like, an option. Um, I wonder if I could change that to my preferred way. Um... Uh, it doesn't look like it. Alright, I'll just have to adjust to how they have it. So it isn't like a really complicated story, it's just really focusing on the game. Oh! What's going on? That's a bigger enemy. We're actually pretty hurt right now. Oh, I might have to heal. Ow. Oh, the things vanish after a while. Oh. 
Damn, when you start committing to moves, you gotta be careful. Okay. Really? So no, you can't change that on consoles, but you can on PC? That's really weird. You think that would just be something in the menu? We got a key. Which we already saw a door earlier where we could use that. The shield. Ah. Hold A. Hmm, okay. I thought it was shrinking at first, like a Smash Brothers shield. Oh, it ran out! Oh no! It takes like mana or something? I th figured the shield would be like a thing that just had a had to cool down and then you use it again. I didn't realize it was a uh, man. I don't even know how to get that. Blue meter under the health. Okay. Cuz the shield itself I thought was in the bottom left. Oh no no, that's showing my health items, huh, which I used them all. We have Daruk's protection. Is that a a reference to, to Dark Souls or something? Well, it's a good thing we can hang on ledges. Ouch. This is not shield. That's what the D20 looking shield from Breath of the Wild is called. Oh, okay. I just assume it's it's Dark Souls. Smacking stuff gives us mana back. Like anything or because I broke like all the boxes and crates. Oh maybe like the dummies. Next time I run into a dummy I'll start smacking it. Now, I remember there was a door around here. Oh, there we go. Bathrooms. Oh, just, they ran out of room names. Is this an enemy? Oh, that looks like one of the bigger enemies that was kicking our butt. Chief bathrooms. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, we gotta be careful now. Oh yeah, see we're getting mana back just fighting this guy. I also just realized he has a health bar. Did I just run into magma? Yes I did. Okay. Gotta be careful. Now I'm wondering when would be the best time to use the shield rather than just try to avoid the damage. Especially if the shield runs on mana. Maybe if there's like a huge attack coming at you and you're not sure how to avoid it. Assuming the shield just blocks damage entirely. Oh, cutscene. Von Fireguard, and he has two swords. Warrior of Light and Shadow, for a very long time I've been waiting for you. My name's Von. I'm the last of the Fireguards, the only survivor of the Firekeep Raid. For centuries I've carried out what seemed to be a senseless task. I've protected this abandoned keep in the name of the guards. I have protected a hopeless faith. But now you're here. Penumbra awaits your blade, warrior. Time is slipping through our hands as we speak. That glowing stone behind you, that is a void entrance. Throughout your journey, you will come upon many more void entrances. 
Uh, these gates are linked to a forgotten realm known as the Void. It's where our ancestors trained. You must seek as many Void entrances as you can. Through them, the, uh, through them embrace the Void and seek our ancestors' power. Only through this will you be able to prove your worth. And claim the secret power of the guards. Warrior of Light and Shadow, when the time comes, we shall meet again. The, the way you, you talk to people is definitely very uh, Zelda-y, how they have the little sounds, but they don't talk completely. No, di no like actual vocal dialogue, but the occasional uh, affirmation. I almost never used this shield on PC because it was also subject to high FPS glitches. Taking a hit while shielding could just send you flying out of bounds. Oh god. Um, I'm gonna go through this door before I go to the Rubik's Cube. Please. Oh, it made it seem like he's, it's gonna teleport us somewhere. 200. I don't have enough, but I'll have to- okay. Alright, so, it looks like we're going to teleport somewhere else, and we have to remember when we have 200, well, we'll, we can come back here and get a new emote. Yeah, sorry for the yawning, I'm j I just, uh... My brother is actually moving out of state, so we've been doing a lot of stuff until then. He's, he's actually leaving on Wednesday. So yesterday we went and visited my grandpa's and we kind of had a little barbecue and stuff. And then the day before that we kind of went out and stuff. And just... So I'm a little tired. Uh, anyway, Grace of Lula. One star difficulty. Hey Sally Acorn, welcome to the stream. Yeah, he's actually going to move in with his girlfriend. So he's going to be pretty far away, like... We're not going to be able to see him very often, so... We've been hanging out when we can. Today he's actually packing a lot of boxes. He's going to, like, ship himself stuff. I guess. Because, I mean, what, you know, because he's flying, so he's not driving. Ooh. Interesting. Wait, there's a floaty thing back there. Oh, that's just debris. These are basically the Sunshine Floodless levels. Oh, I see, okay. I was thinking this is very platform heavy, like suddenly, but I, I like it. Nothing like a a competent platformer with, you know, challenging platform stuff. I'm trying to be careful because there is a limit to... Whoops! Oh god. I slipped through the cracks there. Uh, there is a limit to how far your dash goes. Well, there's a very specific range to it, I should say. Um. But no, yeah, the, the floodless sunshine levels are probably some of the best levels in the game. And I love Flood, too. Flood's fun, but it's just those levels are also really fun. I gotta do Sunshine. I actually have Sunshine on GameCube. And it's one of those 480p GameCube games, so... Uh, it'll it'll uh, stream without issue. Through the capture card. I definitely gotta do that sometime. Hmm, it doesn't look like it would go that far, but I guess it has to, doesn't it? Oh, okay, there we go. Don't underestimate the dash. Oh, we got- I just realized on the top right it shows you how much you have. 30 out of 30. We got him. Yeah, that was fun. 
Mm. Nice. We got an extra heart. I like how you start off with four. Um. So that makes me wonder. Did we get the extra heart just for beating the void? Or did we get the extra heart because we collected all of the collectibles in the void? Your dash actually acts like your jump and that the longer you hold the button, the longer you dash, though there is a clear minimum and maximum distance. Yeah, that's what I, I was trying to be careful about. Because I'm, I'm thinking the door might have just unlocked if you beat it, and then maybe you have to get all the collectibles. Oh, okay, so you do get the extra heart just for beating it. So is there actually... Oh, we actually dropped some stuff. Is there actually a benefit to getting all the collectibles, or is it just like an extra personal challenge? There's a use for the void babbles later on, okay. Alright. Good to know. Ugh, that hurts. It looks like you could jump down there. But, uh, how would I get back up? That might be death. Ah, forget it. It's probably not that big of a deal. Friend or foe? Foe. I'm still not sure what these red things are. I can't tell what they're filling up exactly. Are they just giving me a lot of the... Oh, they're just giving me more extra collectibles, aren't they? The, the little uh, currency. Let me look. Nah, that one didn't drop any. Ba ba babbles. Bach. Bobbles. Bobbles. Gotcha. Yeah, because babbles is a different word, isn't it? It's like a... Kind of like, like a story or something. Well, I mean babble, like babble, but I think there's like a whole different... Something or another, I don't know. I'm a little sleepy on top of that. Hey Fizz, how's it going? Is this Among Us? I don't think so. It might be. I mean, if that gets me more viewers, then, you know, maybe, uh, yeah, it is. Shadow Essence, another collectible, okay. So you only see one collectible on the screen at any given moment, it looks like. I wonder if I should go back before I get too far. Because is there any, like, will, am I going to ever backtrack? Ow! That hurt! Jeez! That took away, like, a few hearts, like, two or three hearts. I feel like I need to go back and buy that emote before I get too far away. Oh, I didn't even notice this over here. Well, of course I didn't, because look where it is. Sapphire ore, a highly valuable and rare precious sapphire. Hey, bruv. Legend say if you put Legend of Zelda on 114p, this game appears. I want to say that. I mean, it's not, you know, it's got a pretty good resolution and all that. Okay. Already broke those skulls. Alright. Techno. We've got the techno emote. Oh boy. Okay. It has it makes noise and everything. All 
Alright, so it's good to know there's fall damage because that hurts. That hurt bad. I might start overthinking my jumps now, but I, I assume if you're like close to hitting the floor and you dash, that might change your momentum enough to save you from taking damage. It's funny, the, the uh, platforming almost feels like it's... It almost feels like it's it's a little too loose, but it isn't. Cause I'm like I, I'm landing everything, so clearly it's working. But it like it almost feels like it's it's gonna be slippery. Kind of like Pumpkin Jack's platforming that had a little bit of slipperiness to it. All right, there was something about it. I probably should have should have done a a quick review on that game. Wait, something just opened. Was it over here? Was it down here? Is that where we came in from? That's probably where we came in from. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy thinking about stuff. Oh, it's up there. Okay. Okay, I need to uh, pay attention to that better. I did. I do like the the music so far in the uh, audio effects. Oh, it's just back to where we were. But can you make that jump? You can't. I want to risk it anyways. So we'll just go this way. There we go. It's almost got like a the, the timer song almost has like a samurai jack feel to it, which is pretty cool. There's all this harmful magma goop everywhere. So we gotta be really careful. platform do something? It almost looks like you could dash across there, but that might be a little too far. Oh, The, the uh, little goops in the background, like when you get close, the models slightly change. It's Malice spread by Calamity Ganon. It's more Breath of the Wild references, it ain't it. Oh boy. Ah, see, like, how are you gonna fight these guys next to the goop? That's just not safe. Oh, god damn it. Game over? Well, the game auto saves, right? Okay, so falling off of into pits is apparently. Wow, what is all this stuff? <clears throat> they put you all the way to the back? Oh, and you lose all your stuff too? Wow. That's rough. I wonder, do they re... Like, do they replace the boxes and stuff? Where you broke, where you got stuff before? I mean, we still have our fifth heart, so clearly, you know, it, it has our progress saved. But, uh... Okay, but it still wants us to fight this guy again. But do we have to? I'm trying to remember... Okay, we came here. Then we went this way. Damn, that sucks, though, because we lost all of that currency.
Oh, I guess I could be hitting these boxes. So they, they do respawn the boxes at least. But then it's like you're kind of recollecting everything. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, but it doesn't- Okay, you lose one full heart and I had one full heart of health left. I actually tried healing as I was falling, but it didn't work, so I guess you have to be on land when you do that. I, I just happen to have the exact not enough health to survive the fall. I mean, we're back to over 200 again. It's almost like they're packing the crates extra. Should I even bother fighting this guy, though? It makes me wonder, like... As, especially, like, in that one area I was just at, where it just seems dangerous to try to fight people. It's like, wh why should I? I guess I was kind of assuming that these enemies were, like, blocking... ...my progress. Maybe you can go a, a passive route. Oh, we don't have to do the switch again. So Fax says it's like that one game, The Surge 2, which I'm not familiar with. I feel like we have like more of the currency now, actually. Like, I, I don't know if the barrels were dropping this much before. Kind of a weird play. What is that? What is that? Oh! It's like a Dark Souls pick up your old... Sorry, I'm like paying attention to it. I think we just picked up our stuff that we dropped. Rough says Skyrim is criticized a lot, but the soundtrack is pretty relaxing. I thought Skyrim was like one of the more popular uh, games. Fax says Surge 2 is a Souls like, okay. Uh, usually when that happens, it does the Zelda thing of showing the door shut behind you before the enemies spawn in. True. There's like a big fork in the road at this point. Is this another one of those? Uh... Oh, here we go. Uh, look at that, I was just moments away from a checkpoint. And you have to pay for the checkpoint. Mmm. How do you feel about checkpoints that you have to pay for? I'm not very familiar with, with games like that. I'm sure there are plenty of games like that, though. Did I, like, have a spirit before and I lost it? Spirit slots. Mana. Do you like to trade shadow fragments for mana? Uh, no? Hey, Lucas. Jay, did you like RE8? Wasn't... Able to finish the last stream. Yeah, I actually, I liked, overall, I liked RE8 a lot, and I enjoyed it more than RE7. Although, I will say that the final part of the game uh, was kind of weird to me. It didn't, it, I don't know, it didn't feel like it, f it felt a little out of place, personally. You know what I don't like? So... When the enemy swings their sword and you dodge it, the controller vibrates. And I keep feeling like I've been hit. Like, you know, like you would get hit and the controller vibrates to indicate damage. But that's just the, like, effect. I assume it's because you're close to the sword swing. Like that. The, the controller vibrates very violently when the enemy swings. I don't like that. I feel like they should have only done that if they're, you're actually getting hit. Um, you'll get a tutorial when you get your first spirit, I think. Guess with Resident Evil typewriters and ink ribbons is kind of like paying for a checkpoint. 
Kind of. Kind of. The thing with the Resident Evil and the, and the ink ribbons is that it's kind. If anything, it's actually more severe of a of a thing because there's a limited amount of ink ribbons in the entire game. Like there's a set am amount, uh, and so you, you need to just kind of be careful about how you use them. Whereas in a game in a, in a game like this, where I would say paying for it, you're you can always go and grind for it, so I don't know, it's kind of a different thing, I guess. What am I looking at here? Am I supposed to notice something? Uh, let me look again. There's a guy up there. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I might have to turn the rumble off, actually. It's just a little confusing because, like I, it's, like I said, it, it feels like I'm taking damage. I keep thinking I'm getting hit. So this was the guy we were looking at. See, that time I did get hit and, like, there was, like, no difference in the rumble. Ah, I'm getting hit a lot, actually. I'm not quite used to the... Sorry, uh, someone walked in, but, but I, I'm uh, still getting used to the gameplay for sure. Um... Maybe that's... Oh! Oh, you can dash up towards things. Wait, can you not? Was that, a, was that a, like a glitch? No, no, you can. It's just don't hold any other direction. Interesting. That's cool. Most, most games I can't think of, usually you're not able to dash at an upwards angle like that. And I and look at that, they're actually telling you. Uh, I think paid checkpoints can work well as a supplement to a steady stream of regular checkpoints. I just feel like... Yeah, that might be a good balance. For me, I don't know, like paid checkpoints just seems a little weird because it's, it's either you have the stuff and you could just pay for it and it's just nothing. Or you get to the checkpoint and you don't have the stuff, and then you have to go and grind for it, and that just doesn't seem like a fun thing to do. I have a feeling here there probably won't be an issue, though. Because you seem to get a lot of this currency. Yes. Celebration. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> So, emotes are usually more for multiplayer things, right? Because you're kind of, like, emoting to another player. So, in this game, I think Joe mentioned that they're actually used for other aspects of the game, which is probably a smart idea, since I assume this is a one-player game. Umbert Secret. Ooh. Level 2 difficulty. It's raining. This also gives vibes of uh, Wario Worlds, the 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 uh, little. They're not bonus levels because they are actually required. Whoops! Well, we fell right away. Depth perception. Um, Wario Worlds, like little puzzle platform areas, I guess. Another one over there. This is a little. <laughs> this is a little uh, disorienting. Uh, 
I will say, I remember having to grind for a lot of the early game checkpoints. I guess if you die, you lose everything, so... That could possibly happen. Uh, Bruv says this part's somehow familiar. Well, like Fax said before, it's it's pretty similar to like the uh, Super Mario Sunshine floodless levels, and I was kind of equating it to the Warrior World puzzle platform areas, which are both very similar concept things. Oh God, I keep I keep <sighs> undershooting. Damn, I think when I fell off the platform, I didn't actually lose any hearts in this place, but since I hit the floor, I did lose hearts. So maybe it'd be better to just aim for the endless void. Either way, you'd lose one heart rather than a couple. I had in time, once again, is another game that I have to play. Alright, I want to hold down the button all the way? Yes. Oh, damn it, I still screwed it up. I'm just going to fall off. Because, okay, so if I didn't do that, I would have lost two hearts. So, that's a little, I don't know. It's kind of pick your poison. Do you want to lose two hearts or do you want to restart this from the beginning? Just, I'm trying to think of what they could have did other than that. Because obviously they want to have fall damage. Maybe... Should the game have had fall damage? I guess they wanted to have it. Mm. Maybe make it do like less damage? Because two hearts is kind of a lot. Wait, just turn off fall damage? So you can actually turn off fall damage? Oh, sorry, you meant, you meant like, that's what they should have did. Yeah, yeah, that's probably what I would have went. Oh, really? I thought I was going to grab onto the edge. See, like, once again, I could have landed on the platform, but I, I don't want to lose hearts. So, I think what you just said right now, they should have turned off fall damage for these segments. See, we're, like, in the future of gaming. So, at first, when you were like, oh just turn off fall damage. I was starting to think, is that a thing that people would put in as an, as an option? Hey, I'm, I'm still uh, surprised when I see a game has the option to change your difficulty mid-game. Although it's very insulting, in my opinion, when you die in a game and then it's like, would you like to change the difficulty? Clearly this game's a little too hard for you, buddy. I have, I have trouble with the depth perception here. D does my guy not have a shadow? Is that what's happening? None of the voids have checkpoints. Some get really long. Ooh. No, I do have a shadow. Oh, but you don't have a shadow on those blocks. And that's probably part of why I'm, I'm having some weird depth perception issues on those on that specific part up there that's a little odd I wonder why they there's no shadow on those what I might have to do is I wonder if I could tilt the camera slightly to one side maybe that'll help with the uh, depth issue Because straight on is not working for me very well. Okay, so... There we go. And I'm assuming that the white blocks, you don't want to stand on them for too long. Because clearly they look like they're about to explode or knock you off or something. So I'm just... That's... In case if anyone's wondering why I'm rushing on that part. It's kind of an assumption, but I guess I could... Could be wrong. Yeah, they definitely look like they're gonna 
knock you off in any case. I don't know why I did that. I should have just got. Just do that. Boom, and then one more. Boom. I like the little sound effect you get. Almost like a PS1 startup sound. Okay. Alright, we did another one of those. That's good. So hang on. Is there like a map? Complete all voids. So that is actually one of our goals. So we we, we are meant to do that. Okay, there's no map or anything. Oh, I thought I was gonna make that. Did I now did I just jump wrong or I'm hang on. If I start off with this, maybe. No, because then the distance. Mm. You know what? That seems like an invisible wall. I'm assuming we're not supposed to get there from this side. What did that switch do exactly? I completely forgot. I don't know. I actually noticed. Okay, it's already been hit, so we can't lock onto it again. I, I just I guess we're done up here. Maybe we just wait till he swings. Like, I need to stop charging in first and then get a couple hits in, then go away. Ow. So your dash doesn't have dodge frames on it, it looks like. Because I was... Let me watch the replay. Yeah, okay, so your your dash doesn't have any dodge to it. It's just, it's, it's just straight up just a dash. No dodging. It said one switch left when I hit it? Okay. So I'm looking for another switch. Oh, and there it is. Okay, I see. I see. So I suppose those binoculars were supposed to be pointing me towards showing me where the switch was, but I wasn't sure what I was looking for. There's a chest. Probably hit up that checkpoint in the middle of the room. Diamond wings crafted during the warp penumbra. These powerful blades made from diamond can tear with ease through darkness. Oh, did the other one have a thing on it? I thought it was just. I thought it was blank. I might have completely not noticed that it had like an um, emote on there. Wow, that is... It didn't do anything, though. But that's the one, right? Maybe... No, they're slightly different, aren't they? Okay, I need something else there. Now I need to go back down to that where that other... white platform was. So, by the way, that gives me Donkey Kong 64 vibes, because... There's certain platforms where you have to play music, depending on which Kong you are, they each have like a different instrument. And then that can like unlock certain things. The tiles exist in pairs, one blank, one with an emo. Okay. So maybe I'm supposed to use that emo on the blank one, but I don't know which emo to use until you see the other one. But, it, but couldn't you also just stand on the blank one and just use all your emotes? until you get the one. Wait, did I? Okay. All right. Boom. Do we heal up? Yeah, cool. I'm 
gonna avoid you. I'm trying. I can't remember where I saw that first white platform. Oh, there it is. So. You use the correct emote on the marked one, and then usually something happens with the blank one. That's weird, because it looks like that it was an emote that we don't have yet. But you you would think if it's the first time we're seeing that, they would have made it one that... Like, if anything, they make it the default one, just so we can, like... Mess around with it for the first time, and, and figure out what it is. God, I did... Every time I feel that vibration, I'm like, I just got hit. And then I look up and my health is full. It was up here... Maybe. No, that's where we learned an emote. I think which emotes you get are random because you got completely different ones than I did from the first two statues. Really? That makes... Huh. Hmm. That's a little strange, ain't it? I appreciate the idea of that, but I would- I really would have liked to have been able to do that on the first- Like, I feel like the first set of platforms you see should be the default emote. So you can actually see, like, oh, you figure out what this is and what you- what happens when you use it. And then everyone after that is an emote that you have to buy, and then you have to, you know, match the right emote to the right place, but... Having the very first- thing I ran into, unless it's this one, and it is the default one, but it doesn't look like it. It looks like a kung fu kick or something. Yeah, I don't know, it's a little... That's kind of an odd choice, in my opinion. Well, I guess we'll just go through the big door and then try to remember to come back to that if we happen to get that emote. Which look like a kung fu kick. That's how I'm gonna try to remember it. <laughs> look at the white dust we're making as we walk. Boom, boom, boom. Um, everything's falling apart. Oh, and of course YouTube would. Hang on, can I? Okay, YouTube's back. Is it back? No, it's not. Hang on. Okay, now it's back. Sorry, YouTube is being a douche today. Uh, Nuos, fierce warrior in the shadows. Listen carefully to this message. Upon the dawn of shadows have my brothers fallen. Vigorously have I too fought the shadows. But that same destruction now threatens my deathbed. Through the tunnels in the heart of the city, there you shall find my resting ground, the forest shrine. Warrior who vanquishes shadows with his blade, please come to my aid. I will be waiting for you. All right. Find the forest shrine. That is our main quest now. And then there's two tunnels. Oh, this one's blocked. Good. No fork in the road for old Jay to choose from. Here's the thing, like I know I bring up a lot that like I don't like forks in the road because I get lost and confused easily. 
The thing is, like, say one of the, like, there was a door there that was, like, huge and green and covered in foresty stuff and, like, whatever. And then there was another door that was all iced over and frost and ice. Like, that is, like, that I would dig because it's, like, it's very obvious what's what. And they, they all, it makes you wonder, like, ooh, what are these worlds going to be? Like, it's ice world and forest world. But if it's just, like, two holes in the wall or two doors, like, that's when I just, it's hard for it to to stick in my brain or i don't know just instinctively like i don't know which way to go first uh speak to npcs they could hold valuable items and information okay increase your mana by trading shadow yada yada now we're in poison land the arcane tunnels actually the way I was describing the whole, the, the uh, theoretical doors is actually reminds me of the main room in Gauntlet Legends. The uh, overworld, I guess you'd call it. Ooh, that looks like the Argus. Okay. Ow! Oh, when you're in the air... Well, let me look real quick, because I think I jumped in the air, but it still knocked me back. Let me make sure. Yeah, I was jumping in the air. So, okay. I assumed that that was like a ground attack, but I guess it was more just a vicinity attack. And then we're back here. I mean, at least we found this checkpoint. Checkpoints are kind of in the little, little arbitrary. Well, I guess I can't say so far because I've only found the one checkpoint. But you would, you would, ah, god damn it. Oh my god, I'm, like, I'm just trying to skip past this guy, but I guess it's not going to happen. Okay. The the guy swings just freaking clip you. Um You would think that this room would have would have been the checkpoint. Just the fact that it leads to kind of a whole nother area right next to it. Oh that's not actually making anything faster, it's just tips while it loads. Okay, we'll go pick up our whatever that is. Yep, I did it again. <laughs> but at the same time, how the hell was I to avoid that? Because I jumped away. Hmm, my shield? I mean, he stomps the ground, and the ground has a ring around it. I guess I'll use my shield. I don't know. I'm not sure how else I was... I guess I could have also healed before I jumped over there, but I was going to try to save that. I didn't realize how much damage that did. Okay, we'll do because we know what happens if we try not to. Oh! Okay, so my third hit stunned him last time I fought him, but this time it didn't. And I don't know if... I don't know. I'm just going gonna, gonna to just do the two hits and then... Oh my god, YouTube, for real? I'm gonna start and stop OBS. Okay. Okay. Reconnected. Okay. Sorry about that. I don't know what's going on there. I restarted my... Internet router. And hopefully that fixes the issue. Took a while to reconnect, too. And okay, we're back. Hopefully. I might have to refresh the YouTube page.
Okay. Okay, we're back. Good, good. Whoops. Wait, hold the attack button to charge a spin attack. I tried doing that, actually. I, I was seeing if there was a charge attack. Let me see. That's... Is that something you have to unlock? Because it's not actually working. I'm assuming that's something you have to unlock. Because it's, it's definitely not doing anything at the moment. Okay, I'm going to try to use my shield here this time and see how that works. Wow. Wow. The shield didn't work. Uh, and it knocked me into the acid, which did two damage still. So, what I've... You can't carry more fire essence. What? Isn't that the... What? Wait, 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 what is fire essence? Hang on. Fire essence. Uh, the health? So I, so I should use the health, is what they're saying, and then, then I can pick this up? Okay, the fire essence looks so similar to just the base collectible that, that really confused me. I don't know if that's just me. Um, hold the attack button to charge a spin attack when you've unlocked the spin attack. Okay. Alright, so I'm just gonna avoid these guys, because apparently... Maybe when they're not next to acid, I'll try fighting one, but... That guy... Really likes knocking me into acid, so I'm gonna say forget that. It said something about parrying, too. It said parry at the right time, but I don't know. Rusty set of keys, they seem useless. Okay. Sure a lot of them, too. That looks like something we could possibly set on fire if we had... Oh, we did the opposite. We knocked the fire out. A to climb. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, he's not an enemy. Uh, greetings, traveler. My name's Orip. Uh, listen carefully. I've traveled far across the land, seeking and studying the things I love the most in the world. Elevators. Oh, yes. I can see that look in your eyes. We both share the same passion for elevators. Sure. Yes. They're indeed really fascinating machines. Penumbra was once flooded with elevators transporting travelers out and about. Sadly, most of the ones that remain are broken. Say, are you by chance heading to Stoneheart City? Uh, elevators. Elevators! I love elevators so much. Orb, stop. Try to stay calm, we'll scare our friend. Anyway, did you say you were heading for Stoneheart City? Uh, maybe? Thought so. So happens that one of the elevators in the tunnel leads to the city. Sadly, it's broken. But what do you know? Master Orb's here. I can help you fix the elevator. If you head up north and then head west, you'll eventually find the elevator. I'll meet you there. Let me open the way for you. Wow, he's psychic. Or he's telekinetic. I don't know how else he opened that door. Without pressing anything. Oof. You gotta be careful about swinging your sword around here. Oh, that looks safe. Oh boy. Oh, that's a... Sp that was gonna turn into spikes, and I kind of panicked. I just realized when I landed on it. Uh, that looks like a chest. I'll go this way. What... happened? Hang on. Did I walk off the platform? That was weird. It looks like I was jumping off of it, but I like, I brushed the water or something. Just like in real life, you sh shouldn't swing your weapon around carelessly. 
An old map. It seems to be written in a strange language. Um. Well, I can't read that. It's in a strange language. Are you going to give me my kung fu emote so I can go, uh... Nope. That's pretty cool. Oh, Jesus, that was close. It looks like you have an air jump if you fall, if you like... You don't have a double jump, but you have an air jump. So if you fall, you have a moment to where you can jump off of the air. Which is nice for saving yourself for the last second. The guards cannot resist anymore. A shadow approaches me. I can't stand it. That sound, it's deafening. Never imagine dying in such hell. Death to the goddess. Damn. That's me in the corner. Another sapphire ore, or two more. And here's another challenge. A rotting body. Ah, they must have left that note. Coyote time. Ah. Okay. Farah's dream. What happened? Um. Did I just exit the level somehow? Uh, not sure what happened there. Why did that happen? <laughs> okay. Whoops, I did it again. I keep, uh... Oh, see, I guess you can exit, but like... I, uh, I don't know. Gonna think about it. You, you it seems like you only have two specific lengths that you can dash. Like the short dash or the long dash. So sometimes I try to like do a bit of, uh, I, I try to do a little subtle shortening of the long dash, but that's not how that works. You have to either just do the short or long dash. I feel like there's something up there we missed. check. Oh no! Well, we're gonna go back and check anyways. It's nice of them to not make you have to recollect all of the things again. So there's nothing up there, it doesn't look like. I feel like there's like something on top of the a tall structure. Maybe not, maybe I was overthinking it. Uh, you know, I hadn't even considered how the digital triggers on the Switch might make the dash feel different. Um, I, uh, in what way do you think that it would might make it feel different? Uh, I guess there isn't anything up there because I don't think we'd be able to get up there so I kind of died for nothing but well, that's fine now we know I like these little parts where they make you dodge around it's pretty nifty
Ah. Okay. See, that was actually a long dash, but I'm guessing that I was meant to jump farther before I initiated the dash. I didn't realize it would have that uh, big of a difference in the jump length. These things don't have a shadow on them either, now that I'm paying attention to that. Check this again. Wow. We barely make that. to do that from here. I would have guessed that's too far. Nope. Okay. Wow, I do not have a good grasp on the length of this dash. Why? Why was there that lower area? There was nothing there. I guess if you fall down, it's just a place you could catch yourself. That's always good to have. Um, uh, there we go. A uh, useful movement tech. Dash off a ledge, jump at the end of your dash. Then you'll be able to do an air dash to get even further. Oh, really? Wow, I, I wouldn't have guessed that. So like, boom, boom, boom. That didn't work. You said dash and then jump and then dash, right? Because that didn't work actually. I'm going to try that again right here. Dash, jump, dash. Yeah, that doesn't work. Maybe that's something they patched out. Oh, we were right at the end too, weren't we? Because we have 30... It, it does seem a little OP, so if that was in the game initially, I, I have a feeling they might have removed that. Oh my god. I didn't jump on the higher part. That was my fault. dash from up there to down here, but I didn't want to risk it. Alright, so up here. They really make you like barely reach this this part right there. I maybe shouldn't have tried testing that at, right at the end of this. Oh, yep. Yeah. Look, I was... That thing I was questioning earlier, that, that is what it was. It's a, a little safety spot. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, we were literally right at the end. That's probably the worst place to try to test that. You can break these early challenges with some of the later movement options you get in a fun way. Alright, there's another one down. And that is close. That's like a secret thing. I wonder if there's anything in this room. It looks like we might be able to open that. Maybe this map points to it, but I can't. I'm not going to strain my eyes to try to read a map. I'm, I'm already bad enough at reading maps. So I'll just go this way. And I will... I could kill you from here, probably. Maybe. You don't have a health bar like the other guys do. What's up with that? Ow, oh, and he explodes at the end. Of course he does. Now, was that guy supposed to have a health bar, or was he missing one because... He's a different kind of enemy or something? Okay. Better use up the fire essence. I'm glad it tells you when you can't carry more, because I usually can't tell that it's... That that's what it is until that, that moment. Hopefully your void tracker doesn't break slash glitch out like mine did. Oh no, what happened there? It's so weird because I watched Dragonus play this and I don't remember any of this stuff. I I probably came in late. I just remember him being in this one specific room where he wasn't exactly sure where he was meant to go. There's a blue flag. Uh, what happened with your, your tracker? It's a door. Oh, another one. I thought all enemies had health bars all the time, but it seems like it only shows up when you lock on. Well, the thing is, I, I thought, I think I was locking onto him. So I don't know if the game just forgot to show his health bar or what. Ah, here we go. Uh, do we have this? Let's see. No. It doesn't look like it. Okay. One day we will find a platform that we can dance on. Path of victory. When I come back out here, I, I assume he'll respawn and then I could try to lock on and see if that changes anything. Path of victory. Ooh, wind. I wonder what that's gonna do you. Aha. Ooh. What is that? It gives you an extra jump? Yeah, it does. Kind of. It like bounces you up, I guess. Uh, at some point mine just stopped updating correctly. Wait. In the menus you have a section that tracks your progress on the voids. Which ones you've discovered and completed, the number of souls you've collected from them. Oh. Progress on the voids. Oh, wait, wait, I saw it. Hang on. There we go, voids. Okay, I see. Oh, look! Farah's dream. I, I collected all 30 of the things in there. It wouldn't show as completed or display the incorrect number of souls collected. So did that maybe just happen to me as well? I did die right at the end of it. So I don't know if that would change things. Because unfortunately it looks like 0 out of th 30 right there. And then here's... I guess we didn't... We didn't... We, we uh, skipped one. 
What on earth? Oh. A chest in a... Ow. A chest in one of these rooms. I didn't expect that. Void ore. Highly valuable, rare, precious void ore. Ah. Okay, yeah, so you do get your jump back after you run into this, I guess. You get your everything back. Which is kind of similar to this, like, uh... It's funny, there's this mobile game I played. What is it called, actually? It might be on my phone here. I might have lost it when my old phone died. No, I don't have it anymore, but it was just like this little basic game where it's just the person running and you tap to jump and it got surprisingly hard and I I 100%ed every single level in that whole game, like getting every collectible. And uh, it, it, there was a similar thing, like literally it's a diamond. If you jump and get this certain diamond, then you, you get your jump back. And there's like another diamond that like lets you fly when you touch it or changes gravity or whatever. Uh, so you still get the items and completion rewards. Okay, so it's just a visual error. That's good. Hey, Kiko. The dash made me think this was Celeste 3D. Oh, God. Celeste 3D would be probably one of the most painful things I could play. Well, I don't know, actually. I mean, I I'm pretty good at, like... Some old school 3D platform. Whoops. I say that as I dash to my death. I mean, stuff like, you know, like Mario 64. I just, I did it again. Maybe I should shut up. Uh, some of the final voids get near Celeste levels of painful. Really? Damn. I feel like a lot of the challenge here, sometimes, like maybe unintentional challenge, a lot is uh, in the depth perception sometimes. There we go. Wait, what is this back here? Oh, that's just this the level. Thought there was like extra stuff back there. Uh, I missed the end of RE8. What was your overall take on the game? <laughs> Fact said he he wished there was more of the big lady. Yup. That that's, was my only complaint. That should have been the whole game, was just uh, all big lady all the time. I'm surprised that they they actually left these out here. You think they would have got rid of them? Um, no, I actually enjoyed the game a lot overall. Like, I, I like pretty much every part I really, really enjoyed, but the only part that I was a little, that felt a little weird was the f set, like the very end of the game the final boss was cool but right before that you play as chris for this segment and it starts to feel kind of like a call of duty game and i don't know it just feels kind of out of place 750 wait 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 what is this awaken a fire is this not just a checkpoint The Chris of Duty segment, right. Um, and the thing is, like, the Chris part wasn't, like, really bad. It just didn't really feel like it f fit into the story. It kind of just suddenly you were doing that at one point. And I think it would have fit better if they maybe took that, separated it, and expanded upon it. And then that could have been, like, an extra mode you played. I think that would have worked better. Um. Oh, that's an enemy. I thought that was a friend at first. Now we know. 
bloodstorm blades embedded with, embed, embedded with poison. This weapon must have once belonged to one of the many thieves that roamed the tunnels. Okay. Sounds pretty cool. How do we... There we go. Oh! We had diamond wings this whole time. We've just been using the... The first thing. Whoops. I, didn't, I guess I didn't realize what I had picked up before. Or maybe I assumed it auto-equipped. Damn, I could have been using this the whole time. Well, we had our taste of that. Now it's time for this. <laughs> what else have I been missing? Nothing. Tunics, okay. Ooh, they're like fire now. That's pretty sick. All right, so this guy shouldn't give us any trouble. Okay. I say as he explodes in my face, nearly knocking me into the acid. Huh, this guy is just a little guy. He's not going to do anything. Then he just atom bombs me. We almost have enough for that fire shrine. Almost. Is that another area? Hold on. We came in through this way. What is this? Or is this where we came in through? Uh oh. That wasn't a door. Oh yeah, this is a new area. And now I can't buy this emo because I have to go back and get the other thing. Okay, big uh, void door leads to other place. Gotcha. Now, I wasn't sure. Like it almost seemed like it might be like a dead end or something. All right, we need to pay for the the toll, the ultimate toll. So now, what is this like spirits? What I don't understand what this is. No spirit selected. Uh, and then there's mana. And it says, would you like to trade shadow fragments for mana? I need 10 shadow fragments. But I don't, you get mana easily. So why would I trade that for mana? I don't understand. Uh, pro tip for grinding money, pots and clutter resets and area transitions. Yeah, it, it, it does seem like that. Whoops. I don't get why you would trade currency for mana when you're constantly... Oh, increase your max mana. Okay. Which also isn't that important because it's just the shield right now and I haven't been using that. The, the only time I tried the shield, it, it didn't help me at all. But, I mean, let's at least do this just to see what it's like. Let me see the bar fill up. They didn't show my bar fill up. It looks exactly the same from my perspective. You gotta show the bar fill up, game. Oh, there's the elevator. But it's broken, like the guy said. Wait, it's not broken! I guess this is the wrong elevator, because he's trying to fix one. Well, let, let's do this over here first. This is a door we could open as well. Well, let's open it. At least to a whole other area. Oh, we can't even go this way yet. Okay.
Yeah, I, I, f I feel like if a game's ever gonna give you upgrades that, that are that incremental, they really need to show the difference. So as expected, these guys are a lot easier when you're not trying to fight them right next to Poison Lake Zone. Ooh, that's a special chest. Fire Charm. Holds the power to cast powerful fire attacks. X to charge. And then X release. Okay. And that also costs me mana, I'm sure. Oops. Yeah, I feel like they also maybe should have specified, would you like to increase your max mana? Maybe that's me being pedantic, but I literally didn't know what they meant. Oh, this is... okay, this is a unique looking person. Are you good or bad? Well, well. Says Spirit Hunter. What do we have here? That sounds like villain talk. Oh, that's it? Or, no, I guess not. Okay. Well, what do we have here? It's rare I find living beings these days. Aside from shadow creatures, that is, of course. They call me the Spirit Hunter. I've traveled this land for many centuries after the dawn of shadows. During these travels, I've learned many arts. Over the years, I've mastered the art of hunting spirits. Listen closely, small one. How would you like to master the art of spirit hunting? Sure. Yes. I felt the desire to possess other souls in you. Now my young apprentice, I shall explain. Spirit hunting is fairly easy. You will come across spirits. Survivors will sell or give you spirits they've found. Each spirit has a special power. To activate them, you must equip the spirit at any fire shrine. Collect a decent amount of spirits, return to me. Go search for spirits. Make me proud. Um, okay. Uh, can't be given. Can, can, wait, but they can be traded. <laughs> okay. Would you like me to sell you spirits? Oh, conveniently. Oh, I can't give them. Uh, it's a spirit thing, I swear. But you can trade them. That is very expensive. Increases dash length. Now that's interesting because... I feel like increasing your dash length, depending on how much of a increase that is, it would completely change the way you do like the platforming segments because now you know you're gonna land in a different spot. Falling from high differences oh does no damage. So right here you could just straight up get no fall damage. Dashing does damage to foes and objects, that's good. Reduce shield mana consumption. Okay. More spirit slots. They're very rare, but I can make them. If I bring 60 void souls, don't I have one? I guess not. Um, I'm gonna say no, because I don't even... I, I don't even... Like... Do I even need a slot yet? I don't have any spirits. Return with 10 spirits. All right, hang on. I have none. But are these slots all locked up? Does that mean that I... Like... Void soul... Okay, we don't have any spirits. Oh, we can only hold up to... Just under 3,000 ore. 
There's so much I'm just figuring it out. We have this sapphire ore that's supposedly really valuable, but no one's wanted it yet. There's some more of it. We start off with two slots. Oh, okay, so that's what the circles are above? Okay. Gotcha. Why, are, why is, like... But why are the souls different sizes? Do some people just have more more of a soul? She's got soul. She's got too much soul. Spoiled food. Worms are everywhere. What is this? Resident Evil? Alright, so I guess if we want to come back to this guy... As Nightmare would say, we need more souls. Also, dude, your your uh, walkway to your place is very uninviting. You got spikes and acid. How is it so far? I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, there is kind of the occasional little thing that I'm a little, I'm kind of getting used to still. They ate more soul food in life. Ah, that would explain it. Alright, so if we want to come back to that guy, we gotta to remember to go here, I guess. This game has, like, this... I don't know if you're able to teleport later, but it seems like it has this sort of... open-worldness within a sort of linear fashion. Like, you're, you're kind of constantly moving forward, but then there's places that you later might want to backtrack to. So I think I've gone that way and I've gone that way. I should probably save. Maybe I'll expand my mana, I guess. I don't know. Let's see. You know what? I should have looked at which heart the mana was up to and then I could have compared it to before and after. Uh, Metroidvania is the word you're looking for, okay. Wait, 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 they mentioned spirits just now. Spirits. Oh, that's just equipping them, okay. Yeah, we need to figure out how to find spirits. I thought Metroidvania still had, like, a... sort of an overworld. Most of the time. I don't know, I guess I haven't... played it up. Yes. Hat Kid Smug. Isn't Hat Kid the name of the character from A Hat in Time? Is that a reference? It is! I've seen that dance before. But why is it called Smug? Does she have like a really smug look on her face when she's doing that? Can't... <laughs> Activate! Can't activate. Okay. Now I'm... Actually not sure... Hmm. Maybe we didn't check out that other direction all the way. All right, we never went up the elevator. Okay, we'll go this way. A Christmas Elf. Yes, it's a reference to A Hat in Time, and that's her peace and tranquility dance, where she looks very smug. I think I saw this, like, this silly meme. This is the room I remember Dragnix being in. I recognize it. Um, I think I remember seeing the silly meme of, uh, it's the hat in time girl, and she's like, I sent you a picture of my hat, please respond. <laughs> it's, like, really dumb, but kind of funny. I see all these blue things, and I remember the guy saying the last of the red 
guards or red, whatever they are, had died. So I wonder if the blues kind of took over. But we're kind of dressed in a blue, aren't we? Or is it like a gray? Kind of seems like a really dark blue. But I thought it kind of insinuated that we were part of the reds. Tunnel cross. Tunnels cross. Well, this is a nice little room that that weird eyeball monster was lurking in. Excuse me. Storage room list and a calendar. And a treasure chest. Ruby ore. Okay. Good. Clark the fire, fire guard has fallen. It's now every man for himself. May the holy gods protect you. Fire guards, that's what they're called. My brain thought red, because you know, fire, red. Uh, sapphire ore, a highly valuable rare precious silver. Okay. Okay. Can I jump in here? Will it hurt? Yes. Wow. Okay, that, that's kind of mean. That's a little mean. I mean, that could have been a secret or a cool little Easter egg, but they just make you die. Maybe you're, this character is just weak against liquids in general. So we don't do anything with the ores except sell them. Okay. And I think this was the room where Dragnix was confused because he was like, wait, do I jump on this? And then... And then he was kind of jumping across it. Ow. Really? That was that far of a drop? Yeah, this definitely is not supposed to be jumped on. And now... I wonder if I were to fall in the acid, if it would put me back up to where I was. Probably not. But then again, there's an elevator, like, right... Where is that elevator? Isn't this the room with the elevator? There it is. I, we just can't see it from here. There we go. Should put us right back up to where we were. Dragnix died up here and he couldn't get his soul back. Oh no. That's not good. Yeah, like you're... You're definitely not meant to jump on that, but I see how you could probably cheese it and get up onto that other side, but I'm, I'm assuming you're meant to wrap around a different way. I guess we'll go through this door. You can definitely tell this is an indie game. I'm sure it was like a smaller team. Oh, oh, we've been down there. Good thing the chest's open already. If it wasn't. I might have jumped down there like a dummy. Anything back here? No. Nothing here but us chickens. Oh, that is a very narrow platform. Is it still, wait, is it still or a door or is it still just a wall that recedes into the floor? I mean, that's a good question because it does just kind of disintegrate into the floor. <laughs> but it functions as a door because it, op it opens and closes. It doesn't just go away forever. I mean, the doors in like Star Trek kind of did that, right? Huh. 
I wonder what I missed something though earlier because I if you look at my void stuff boom 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 there's one missing but I don't know where, where that could have been there's the elevator guy I'm sure we can upgrade the amount of fire essences that we can can hold later. Hey buddy, we made it. This is the Northwest Elevator. This beauty will take you to Stoneheart City. If only Umbert was here to admire this baby. Anyway, I can help you fix this elevator, but in exchange, pay me 2400 ore. After all, I'm Master Ore. Do you like. I cannot afford that, dude. Quick, think of something or we'll scare him. Say, what if you were to pay me later, but twice the price? No! I already don't have that much. Very well then. You won't find another way to the city. Good luck. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to... What was it, 2400? Jesus. We're gonna have to find another way, and then come back here later, because we do not... ...have that much, and we don't want to pay double. That'll take freaking forever to... Oh, gah! Misjudged. And, uh... Okay, we're going this way. Literally 99 less than your wallet can hold. God. Uh, there isn't another way as far as I know. That's the only way to progress. Jeez. Well, I guess we'll just save up as we, uh... As we look for wherever that other place is that I missed. Because I definitely missed... One of the void zones. Maybe I'll just try to pull a Dragnix here. Oh boy. Ow. Three D platform without inertial frames of reference. Tisk tisk. These th these things are pretty abundant. So we've, we've been this way, that leads to the spirit guy. Does it, or is that just the chest? I don't know, this leads to, we can't go this way. It must have been something before this area we missed. Yeah, okay, so we'll go back through here. Do you guys give a lot of stuff? I don't remember. Let's see. You oughta. I might... Okay. Okay, we got 905 right now. No, they don't give anything. Okay, they give those, but that's not gonna help. I guess we just gotta rely on barrels and pots. Ow. We literally have less than half of what we need, though. It's kind of... Ridiculous. Okay, here we go. This room has a lot. There we go. Maybe we'll just keep leaving and coming back to this room.
Uh, I'll just save, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know if that'll refresh it. Because the door's not closing. No, that didn't refresh it. Oh, now it closes. Uh, I'll just go back through this way. There, there must be some path I missed. Oh, I have fire now. I completely forgot. I have to try that out. Ow. Oh my god, it happened again. Hang on, let me look at that replay. I feel like I shouldn't have fallen off there. Uh, I guess I was just too late to jump. Well, I didn't... Wait. Oh, it didn't respond to things either. First I was like, oh, they're doing the funny thing where we haggle the guy's price down to an actual reasonable price. But no. Yeah. Whoops. The whole, like, pay me double later. It's like, I thought we had a thing going. I said I... Oh my god. I said I loved elevators. You love elevators. I mean, I thought everything was going good. What happened, man? Maybe... Hmm, I don't know. Because we didn't figure out how to get in there. Yet, but I don't know. If it's like a switch... We haven't seen. Or if it's in a whole different place altogether. I mean, there was this map, but... I think you can crawl up one of the pipes. Up a pipe. I'll have to look for that. So we climb down this ladder. Up into, sorry, most pipes are covered with a grating, but I remember going through one. Well, at the very start before we entered the sewer, I, I went through one, I believe. But that might be... How long was that waiting for me there? around these spots. I did kind of leave quickly because of that him. Because of that him. Oh, I could shoot fire. Let's try it. Oh! That's... That's not shooting fire. It's just... It's like hitting him with lightning, almost. And it's not really hurting him all that much. Okay. It's like about half damage as your normal weapon, it looks like. Um... Yeah, I expected, like, a fire projectile. I did not expect, like, the insta, like, almost like a lightning strike. Mind blast. Now, see, if we, if we go back any farther, now we're going back to that pseudo fork in the road. But I'm just going to look real I'm not going to go back farther than this, because I'm pretty sure the other... Everything else before this, we we had done everything except just that one emote thing that I couldn't do. Yeah, see, because this way just is blocked off. When I say it's near the checkpoint, I'm assuming you mean the checkpoint in the sewers. I'll just start heading back that way then. I guess I probably could have technically said I'll pay you double later, right? And then just... But I don't know... Like, 
I feel like there's gonna be another elevator I need to pay for, and then I literally have to pay double, and then that's just gonna be... Like, I can't... 2400 is already so much to save up for. Okay, that's just there. At all times. There's always one little thing to pick up. Unless maybe their version of the joke is that you always tell them you'll pay double every time, but then you never actually pay them. You just keep inc increasing this debt. But at the same time, that's also kind of terrifying. There's two spiky platforms and a bit of a tall stone between them. All right. I'll, I'll head back that way. Three hits and he's out of there. More red for, I think you increased mana with that. Whoops. It almost looks like there's a door up there actually, hang on. Doesn't that kind of like a door, look like a door you could go into? But I can't... no, because I can't reach that platform. Look at that. There's definitely stuff up there, but maybe that's something you get to later. Whoops. I didn't realize I was standing that close to it. Um... You see that, right? There's a hole up there with a like, sort of a door platform. Up back there, there's other stuff. You must get like the ability to fly or, or glide or something. It's the only thing I can think of. Oh yeah, this room gives us lots of dough. Oh, that's the spot you're remembering, okay. Well, now I'm trying to think of how I would get there, because how would I get up on that platform without falling in acid and dying? You didn't do, like, that glitch jump, did you? Where you, like, dash and then j jump and then dash again? Whoops. The only thing I can think of is like, maybe... Like if I... From here, I feel like... Fax is, whoa, whoa, my techniques are 100% legit. I don't know about that one specific maneuver. Because from here, I feel like that would work. If I could here... If I could, uh... Dash and then jump and then dash again... That, I might just barely make it up there, but I don't... I don't know. We're actually close to 2400 now. Look, all I'm saying is that particular move might be banned from tournaments. If I had to guess. Possibly. Like, look at this. Like, what's up with this, like, just hallway of poison? I don't get it. I'm just going to rooms where there's more pots and stuff. Yeah, we're already almost there. I'll just... Boom. boom. Did you play very far into this game, by the way? Like, did you, uh... Because I think uh, this was one of those Dragnix one-off streams, right? Oh yeah, we have enough now. That was fast. Okay, yeah, this room paid off really good. So we'll just go on and... 
I'll have you know I'm ranked number four blue fire North America. I 100%ed it. Oh, okay. Wow, I didn't realize. I always hear Joe Retro uh, talking about this game. I never heard you really talk about it. Guess I'll do more mana if I can afford it. Sure can. I forgot to look at my hearts again to compare the meter. But by now I should be able to notice. Yeah, yeah, I could definitely notice it's bigger at this point. Watch when we get up there and he increases the price again. At least as far as I could tell, given the glitched menus. Fair. Is this one of those games where like 100% setting it isn't really like a... A, uh... An enormous task, it's just kind of something... It does take time, but... It's, uh, it's, it's more like reasonable than... I don't know. Some games would take a ridiculous amount of time to 100%. Did I go in here? Tunnels across. This leads to the guy, doesn't it? No. Maybe that is the right way. It's one of those games that when people ask you about it, it's hard to say anything besides a mildly enthused. Yeah, it's pretty alright. I mean, I can like see, I can definitely see the, uh... It does kind of have like, I don't know, indie game-itis. Where there are really cool ideas, and there are aspects about it that look really nice, really cool. But like, you know, obviously they don't have a huge budget or a huge team, and... It's probably one of their, if you know, if not their first game, one of their first games. If I had to guess. Okay, good. Like both of the doors have the same like spiky platforming right before you get to it. Like the the spirit store guy. I feel like it maybe would have benefited to make the, the the pathways to those places a little more diverse. At least for someone like me, where it's hard for me to remember where things are for games like this. As far as I'm aware, uh, it's the studio's first game. And like, wow, super awesome job for the first game. They were incredibly ambitious and got farther than most would in realizing said ambitions. Yeah, definitely. Just, I mean, just getting their game on, on a Nintendo console is amazing in itself. You know, ignoring any shovelware that may be on the Switch uh, eShop, but... Alright, buddy, I got your money. Hello, my fellow ele elevator natic. Natic? Uh, yes. I don't say I'd care for having to grind for money at this part. Are you seeing calculator or shovelware? How dare you? I mean... Those are the best ten dollars I've ever spent. I don't know a calculator, but judging by that's the first thing that came to mind, maybe. Give extra time in Stoneheart, feel free to pay me a visit there. I think I've already paid you enough, buddy. I don't think I need any more pain. Whatever type of it, it there may be. So we're going to get like a change of scenery here, I think, which should be good. Because so far I've really just seen kind of the opening like fortress area and then the sewers. So. It's like a very alien language. Wait, these still look very sewery to me. 
far as I'm aware, that's the only money sink in the game, so you've safely cleared that hurdle. Okay, that's good. What is with, like, these random, like, one little... ...ores and spots? I s swear that must be, like, a... Maybe not? Maybe they are placed? Whoops. Oh, boy. Oh, great. Oh, oh boy. These red things are just lights. Yeah, okay. Just wanted to make sure. Oh, okay, I assumed I could climb up the pipe. But he did not latch onto the side of that pipe like he did the one that I landed on first. Let's go here. To help you know, you could go places. Yeah, that's probably what the what the purpose is. That's locked. Now, why wouldn't they just put the locked door here? Why would there be a small tunnel to the locked door? What's up with that? To tease you? Sorry I'm like asking too many questions. I'm, I'm just, I don't know. I have reviewer brains, so I'm like, whenever I'm playing, I just kind of... Things always pop into my head. Like, I wonder why they did this. Or like, why did they do that? Or, you know, I'll be like, this was a cool idea. I, th I think I see why they did this. Or I might say maybe they should have did this instead. It's loading? Oh, loading. You're explaining the... Your theory on why that tunnel exists. Now, what did that switch do? Maybe it opened the very door that I was wondering about. Which I now cannot get up to easily. What the... Wait, what? Down here, and then... There's got to be like a gliding ability or something. Look at this. Oh, okay, but there's a ladder. Good. You ever climb a ladder that fast? You ever fall off the ladder that fast? I get what you mean. Uh, I've seen Dragnix get some flack on the Steam when he shares links to his streams and people like, wow, you just want to hate the game. Yeah, it's just... I, it's just a lot of... Being analytical, I guess. Like, I'm definitely not trying to just nitpick. Okay, so it wasn't a switch for that door. It's like chill, sometimes people just poke and prod at games. Yeah. And like, I always try to give credit, too. Especially if like, this is like an indie game. Um, which it is. So I try to give credit for like what they have accomplished and I try to give them some slack. Whereas if this was like a Nintendo game and they charge $60 and it's like, yeah, there's no excuse. Like you have, to, you really, oops. You, you expect a certain level of polish I should have just landed in the acid. I would have took less damage. I don't know why. I keep doing that. Oh, whoops. And then I landed it. Oh, game over. I thought landing and stuff only took one heart away. Didn't it last time when I fell off stuff, it took one heart away? Or just falling in acid different than falling in a pit? And I didn't notice. Ah, oh, and all the way back here. Ah, I'm not I'm not a fan of that. All it's I'm not a checkpoint checkpoints in games are a fine art, I will say that, but I'm not a fan of the way that this game does it. They should really just take you back to the start of a main area. In my opinion at least. Damn. Oh, and then you know where I died? Is my spirit going to be... They're not going to put my spirit down by the pipes, right? Because I don't even know... I don't even know how to get back up from there safely.
That's why I consider a lot of my criticism of this game a moot point. It's their first title. With that in mind, this game is incredible. Right. It's all about perspective. Like, the things they do get right are very nice, like the... The, the, the platforming, dashing... The look of the game, stuff like that. The... Sound design is really good. A double O. So hopefully my souls are not in a weird place. Let's see. Okay. Oh, they did put it down there. Oh, you know what? I see what I could do when I'm here. Instead of trying to get back up to where I was, I could just go this way. That's my problem. That's what I should have been doing. How, now, do you feel like a lot of games are doing the pick up your souls where you died thing just because Dark Souls does it without really... Rather than like factoring into like, will this work with how this game is designed? Do you think they're like, we like Dark Souls so we'll have that? Because I don't know if this is the type of game that really needs that type of mechanic. Or if it really, like, benefits from it. Would love for them to hone in the 3D platforming for their next title. Not enough 3D platformers get as hard as this game does. Now, I'm interested to see that when, once I get there. Um, hopefully I'll have a good grasp on... <sighs> okay. A good grasp on the... I was just going to say on the depth perception aspect. By that point. That's okay. I think this game's doing it because Hollow Knight did it, not Dark Souls. Okay. That's another game I haven't played. I know that's like a Metroidvania that I've heard is really good, but I... I guess I'm kind of working my way up to that level of Metroidvania. Like, I like Gato Robato a lot. And then Guacamelee I'm enjoying a lot. Oh, God. Um. Uh, okay. I'm from the platform era where you played as Banjo the Bear. <laughs> In fact, it's not a Metroidvania, it's THE Metroidvania. Ah. I see. I just went back to the start. I mean, I have heard good things about it. It was always weird playing other N64 plat 3D platform games after playing... Super Mario 64, because Super Mario 64 was just so amazing for its time. Like, for how early of a 3D platformer it was, it was just insanely good. Like, with the gameplay and the controls and the versatility of your movements and, like, the fact that you could, like, side jump and wall jump and long jump. Like, it, it was, it's insane that that was, like, that Nintendo... Oh, God damn it. The Nintendo set the bar that early. I really don't like these round pipes. It's very... It's, it's hard to... I guess estimate where to land and where you may be able to grab onto the edge of it or not. As opposed to the flat platforms. But anyways, yeah, like, you play Mario 64, and then you go to, like, 
Ah. You go to... <laughs> and then I do grab onto the pipe I wasn't trying to grab onto. You move on to like... Like Banjo-Kazooie or Donkey Kong 64 and those are like good games in their own right. You know, some people don't like Donkey Kong 64 but I, I liked it. But the platforming feels so sluggish in comparison of like if you just came back from Mario 64. But they're just different kinds of games. But uh... Like I don't know how to... Okay. It seems like for the most part it's really just the end of your long dash and I need to keep that in mind. Oh there's a switch over there too. Damn. Okay we'll have to go back for that. Then you go play Conker's Bad Fur Day. Yeah. I love Conker's Bad Fur Day. I'd love to play that on stream sometime. I have it for N64, but I can't... God damn it. I feel like maybe that... When I said before how it sometimes feels like... Almost feels like it's floaty. Maybe it is a little, little floaty. And I... I just wasn't doing... I wasn't at the really precise platforming parts where it was going to matter. Yeah, I was the same thing I was thinking, Fack. I just healed because apparently uh, sewer water does two hearts of damage rather than one. Here I'm like, okay, just dash against the wall. Boom, land on it. Here I think it's just the full long dash. Yep, you're there. And then we'll just jump down here. Boom. Ah, we needed to hit that anyways. So, I wonder if I could just cut down, you know what, screw it, let's go for it. And there we go. What, the okay, I did not see that enemy. I was, maybe the green, it blended in with the green everything. I did not see that enemy. Good thing I dashed back on. But no, yeah, Conker's Bad Fur Day is definitely another one of those games that feels more sluggishy. It's really, it's it's not like the hardest game, but the, Conker's is pretty tough at, at certain points. Um, Do I have, oh I do, finally I found one that I have. We'll finally get to see what happens. So that's a place I haven't been yet. Okay. That also kind of gives me Wario world vibes. Where you activate chest switches and then they show up on the platforms in another part of the level. I mean, there's lots of games that are like that, but just something about that visual of the platform having the chest appear on it. What's up, Floyd? You want on the bed? You want on the bed, buddy? Go on. Floyd. There you go, buddy. You chill on the bed. Um, there's a checkpoint in the next area if you want to continue for a bit before coming back for that chest. Uh, I don't even know what continuing is from here. Like, I don't know where I'm going. Like, we came... Do we go down... I feel like we would've came up from this... Yeah, the platform was down there, so we came up here. And then boom, we're up here. And then... What? Down... That's the switch we hit already. The big door you just unlocked with the switch. Right. But... How do I get to that? I know that's like near me. Maybe we start going back and then we run into it. How the heck do I even get to another place from here? Do I jump on this big pipe? Ok, 
Okay. It's on the same wall as this ladder. This ladder. To the right of it. Uh, okay. So I do... Okay, so if I get up on here, then I can probably dash down here. Oh god, Jesus. That There's no way that's that was the intended way to get here, was it? There, there's, that's like one thing, another thing with this game is like a lot of things just seem really v vague or uncertain. Oh god, Jesus. Like, I guess that kind of works, but... Yeah, I guess if it works. Oh, there we go. New environment. That's what we needed. What is that? Ancient relic. Ancient royal scroll. Is this in my... There it is. What a, what a, that doesn't, okay. I guess we'll figure that out later. Wait, open? Oh, that's just the door. All right, we, we better hit that checkpoint. That's another, like a big hallway that leads to another place. Uh-oh. There we go, there's a checkpoint. Stoneheart City. This is how you find out your character's literate. Oh, illiterate. Um, apparently. No, we read signs and stuff. I guess maybe we just don't know how to read ancient. I, don't, I still don't get the point of these binoculars. Like, it's showing me... ...that there's a thing, but when I get to that spot, I'll see that anyways. Am I Is it supposed to help me plan for something? Well, let's go get that checkpoint. Let me guess, a thousand. Yup. Called it. Because I think the first one was 500 or something, and then 750, and then... Alright, now we, we can go back to that for that chest, but if we could find our way back, because actually we just jumped off from a high spot. I half expected that water to hurt me. Yeah, what's with this inflation? It's getting out of hand, you know? Back in my day- Aw, oh, damn it. See, like... I feel- Oh, great. I feel like it's- It isn't very clear about... Certain things. It's like, you can either almost make it or you don't. Like, I still feel like I could make that jump. I just timed it wrong or something. Yep. Oh, but that's not even where we... Oh, over there. Okay, we'll, we'll check this place out real quick. Okay. Old man robot. Uh, good evening, young one. I've been waiting for you. They refer to me as Ari the Crafter. You may simply call me Ari. For centuries, my family has dedicated itself to the art of making tunics and swords. The needle of fate spoken to me quite some time I foresaw our encounter. I don't quite know who you are, but I'm aware of your role in this land. Or what my part in your journey is. Uh, it is the will of the needle that I assist you. How can I help you? I guess we'll check out what you got. Okay, so we could dye our thing orange. Or aqua. Or light gray. That looks more like very blue. Soft purple. That looks very pink. Oh, tie-dye, that's cool. 
Oh, it actually changes colors too. It's like the the scramble suit from a scanner darkly. Strap in for lore. Blue dye, violet dye, green dye, green dye. So is it? Just, this is just aesthetic. It doesn't actually like change anything. Um, whoops. God. Uh, Cancelled. Gotta remember what the buttons are. I don't think I could afford any of those anyways. Hey, look at that. Uh, I don't have that, I'm pretty sure. Actually, that kind of... No. Yeah, I don't have that. Nice bed you got there, old man. Would be a shame if someone were to sleep in it. <laughs> we came from down here. Wait. Did we walk? No, we came this way. We didn't walk through a big entry. Did we? There we go, yeah, okay. I'm surprised that that's not a walk through a tunnel to get to a new area door because you go from sewer to like grassy land okay so now let's go get that chest wherever it may be I actually have no idea uh... oh it's over there so we just need to get over there which Totally won't be difficult at all. Okay, we're like under it now. Maybe we just go up this ladder. Whoops. Oh god. Oh god. Oh lord. Ah. Uh. Christmas Elf said, first game mistakes, everything's too big. Um, That could be something that would balance the platforming, now that you mention it. Oh, wait, how do I get down there? There isn't much that's really close to that spot. Down there, you're too low. Up here, you're too far. There's gotta be... Can you jump on that part of the pipe? Let's see. That's gotta be it. Yep, okay. I wasn't sure. Oops. I try to break the chest. Alright, let's see what we got. Looks special. Infinity robe. A mysterious magical robe. This looks like the robe you get for like 100% in the game. Jesus, I'm surprised they gave this to me so soon. Uh, wow, look at that. Whoops. I mean, sorry old man, I don't think anything you sell could beat this. That's really sick. Uh, maybe best tunic in the game. 100% tunic is lame compared to this one. How did they goof that up? What is the 100% tunic? Because I'm, I'm never going to get it, so it's not really a spoiler. Uh, depending on how long this game is, I could uh, try to complete it, but uh, we'll see. Uh, you know what, maybe we'll go through this area right here. See what this is all about. It's a shining white one. Yeah, I could see that one looking cool, but compared to this one we just got... And it's literally called the Infinity Robe, too. It's like, dude. 
What if they just accidentally put the, the, the unlocked robes in the wrong positions? Okay, once again, it, uh, there, there has to be like a flying or gliding ability you get, because we can't do anything right here. Oh, never mind. What? Was it supposed to show this when I first... So when I walked in, it was like Temple Gardens. And then I started leaving, and then it did Temple Gardens again, but then it started showing more of the place. Right? Am I, am I so tired I'm going crazy? Pretty sure that's what just happened. Occasional, like, little glitch, I guess. Which is fine, you know. Once again, indie game. First game. Definitely something they'd want to try to fix up if they can in future titles. Um, store over there. Okay, there's places down there we haven't been to yet. Wait, what is this? Book set. Dusty set of old books. I don't know if we've used any of these key items yet. See, so we could go down there. And then there's also over here. Let's check over here first. Maybe. Wait. Oh yeah, I see that ladder now. Just save here. Um, book set, another one. All right, that's how we go back. Good to know. Abandoned path. Oh, this actually leads somewhere else. Oh, one of the challenges. Um. Now, if I got over there, which I could possibly if I, like, jumped from up somewhere, how would I get out of there without dying? I feel like I couldn't. So I think I'm gonna hold off on that. There's definitely, like I said, there's like, gotta be a gliding ability or something you get. Haven't found any spirits yet. We found that spirit guy very early. I feel like maybe like another suggestion is like, if you're going to introduce things to the game, maybe have like a very early simple thing already that you can do involving that like one example would be when we first ran into the emote panels and i wasn't able to like you know try them out and see what they did because it was a random emote i didn't have and then we ran into the spirit guy and we didn't actually get to like do anything with him because I didn't have a spirit or whatever. And now it's like, what was that, like an hour plus ago? This requires a graveyard key, okay. And it's gonna get to a certain point where it's like, I don't know, I think it's better if you're able to interact with the mechanic that's being introduced when you're first introduced to it, or otherwise just save it until later. If, there's, if that makes sense. And you know, in some cases where it's like, oh, I can't go down this hallway because it's too long. Then yeah, like clearly that's come back later until I get another ability. But when it's something like that, where it's kind of explained to you, but then you can't actually experience it firsthand. I don't know, it's just, it's just a little... I think it would be better to... Uh, 
Explain it. Okay, I think that's what I had to do, but the distance is just... It's just barely in range. Maybe. Maybe I jumped from the wrong spot. Or to the wrong spot. So let's see. We can't get up there. Can we not? No, we can't. Uh, we can jump on this, maybe. Ah! From here, we can get up here. And then we can get over here. Okay, there we go. Oh, but these are... These are like ornaments, though. It doesn't seem like this. these are really intended for you to jump on. But once again, like, I don't know. It's another one of those, like, uncertainties where... Was I meant to utilize that? Oh. Well, here's the thing. And it has four stars. Difficulties. And was it called Ursa's Glide? Am I not going to be able to do this? Because I don't have a glide ability. Let's see. So far, so good. Um. Ah, interesting. Okay, I'm trying to... Oh, I was supposed to... I was checking to see if I missed any of the uh, collectibles. I was not paying attention. Because I thought that it vanished before. Whoops. It's not a good sign. Yeah, I feel like since they made it so that falling in an in a endless pit in this one doesn't harm you, then they also could have changed it that fall damage doesn't harm you. That's probably like an oversight, I'd have to guess. Because these aren't about like, do you have enough health? Th these are clearly all about the platforming challenge. camera in the right spot. Definitely gotta keep in mind where your camera is during this. And now it looks like Oh, so, so these platforms, your shadow does appear on them, which is good. Yeah, see, like, for stuff like that, like, I probably wouldn't be able to land on that if I couldn't... Ugh, I need to remember to move the camera. I keep forgetting. Ugh! Ah, oh, god damn it! I keep, I keep having for some reason. I have this problem where I, uh, I like to just tap the dash, even though I, I do want the longer dash, because I keep forgetting there's two dash differences, uh, distances rather. Still like hard to uh, 
get it to where you can see where the other side is. Here the white lines are just like invisible. Just about. Is it? Oh, okay. It's a new one. Ah, oh, and it's it's those ones too. God damn it. Where you can't... I feel like the, the platforms where you can't see the shadow is unintended. I can't imagine they would purposely make it so you can't see the shadow. Because that wouldn't make sense for like a 3D platforming game, you know? You're going to want to see your shadow. Ah. Once again, it's hard to... Set up your depth perception right. But at the same time, I don't know how I could suggest where the camera should be to fix that issue. Maybe pulled out a bit. Above you, huh? That might do it. Whoops! Oh my god, I don't know what's wrong with me. I have a really hard time judging distances in this game. I think uh, I think this area would benefit from a, like a dynamic camera. Which I'm probably, I'm sure is like really tricky to program. Oh my God, see, cause I was, I was move my thumb over to move the camera and then I, I have to move it back and it's like, uh, for as cool as platforming challenge voids are conceptually, not having anything to ground your depth perception is problematic. Uh, it's not just you, I was the same way. Cause yeah, I, I, I do feel like most 3D platformers, that isn't usually an issue. But it's probably something you take for granted, you don't think about it. Like there, once again, like I just, for some reason I thought I was close enough. It, I also need to maybe pay attention more to the things that do show how far or close you are. Um, it's not something I, I usually really think about. Like that line, obviously, would give a good clue of like, yeah, that's when you're close enough. Pay attention to the lines when you can. Pay attention to the lines. Except when it's on the white background. <laughs> and then they kind of vanish. It's weird because the lines aren't completely white either. They seem like they're, they're kind of grayish. But they just fade into those backgrounds. Okay, so we're back here. And I think we're going to go up. This way, and then this is where we get to those platforms that they don't move, they, they just want to kill you. Something I really like they did with Crash 4, whenever you jump, your drop shadow gets a little colored outline so it's incredibly clear where you are. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. I want to play through the classic, I should not talk while I'm doing this part, but I do want to play through the classic Crash games. Oh, moving one. Uh, uh, at some point. I, I wish these were colored differently just for people like me where I start to blend platforms together in my brain. Um, Because I haven't played the Crash Bandicoot game since I was quite small. Ugh. Okay, where, where does this end though? Right here? Okay. Oh, 
Ah, oh, see, I like I keep, I keep instinctively thinking that I'm going to overshoot it, but you have to trust that they usually place you in just the right position to where you need to do the long one and not pull back. Because I find myself assuming I'm going to overshoot it, so I pull back and then it makes me close to falling or falling. I mean, this is the type of room that wouldn't have a checkpoint, so that's not too surprising. But yeah, I could definitely see what you mean, like, they do get longer. And it's not quite at the point where it's like, oh, this game just feels really bad, and that makes it worse that I'm having trouble with a part or whatever. It's just that it's not... It, it just has... The, a couple little problems that don't help. Like, these really need to have your shadow on them. I don't know why they don't. That's partly why... I think that subconsciously that might be partly why I keep thinking I overshoot them. Is because I don't see my shadow? I don't know. Maybe you would think that would make you think you're undershooting, but... Like, thank god these have your shadows, at least. You know, that's something. Like, here that doesn't look that far away, but yeah. You need to do your long dash. Oh my god, what... What is it with that one? I need to look at the replay, because I that's the same one I died at last time. I feel like it's just one of those where you just... You know what? I didn't utilize my full jump. I did like this, maybe, or I did like part part of a long jump into the dash. Those ones are so... There's a lot of moments in this game where... Like, you need to utilize that full jump or you don't make it. They barely make, make it uh, reachable. Uh, because it revolves around moving platforms, you can't progress it any faster. Yeah, that's true. You can't, like, rush to try to make it... Ugh. To try to make it through parts faster than you... You know, you, you can't get through it any faster. I mean, really, that's all there is to it. Yeah, I could do this, but then it's like I still gotta wait. Now that was one of the rare moments where you could speed things up a little. Oh, you fey. I'm still like, every time I hang onto a wall, it's by accident. I don't think I ever do that on purpose. Whenever I hang onto a, a platform, I mean, it's just, it just happens sometimes. And usually when I try to make it happen, it doesn't happen. I mean, especially when I'm trying to go for that one block. It makes me question, like, if certain things can be... If you can hang on to the ledge of certain things, like, like this, and it's like, I don't know. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Usually it seems like you can, it's just, it does, some platforms it just doesn't work on as often as other ones. That time I did almost overshoot it. So I gotta be really careful here. Because these ones you don't have to do the full jumps. And I think that's what keeps putting me in that false sense of like a rhythm. Like here. 
Oh, and I still missed it. It's like you have to, you have to approach it. It's like, it's it's facing you from a diagonal angle, and it's like since I'm a little off to the left or right, I'm hitting those. I'm not landing on the corner. Do you get it? Like I need to hit the corner of the block. I think that's the problem. But since I'm rushing. Because I'm in the middle of jumping from block to block to block, which all will do something at some point. I'm still not even sure. Like, I've never, I don't even have a clear idea of that. You gotta watch, walk all the way to the edge of the previous cube. Probably, yeah, that probably, I should do that. But at the same time, like, if I had just landed on the corner of the next cube, I would have landed on it. But I was just off to the side. And I also, like, I don't know. The shapes of certain platforms make them, like, especially weird. Like, I was having similar things with the pipes in the sewer because they're, they're round. It's a little... weird about how you land on them. But in this case, it's a square block but you're approaching the corner of it like this, but different. Oh, and I, and I mean, there definitely is like certain like when games lack checkpoints and it's like, okay, I know I can do this part. I don't want to have to keep doing it. I want to do the part that I haven't been able to do yet. Oh God. Uh. Okay. Oh God, okay. Why did I do that? God damn it. Ah. Oh. Like, instinctively, like, I kept, like, all I had to do was stay on that. And it was going to take me right to the thing. But I saw a glowy thing on it, and I couldn't see that the line was going towards it until I started jumping already, because the line is the same color as the background. Um. That was stupid. I don't know why I did that. And I think I was also in that mode of, like, okay, I need to keep jumping... Because like, I like I'm pretty sure like, this is one of those things where it's kind of more of a me problem, but the color of the moving platforms, and the platforms that stay still but you have to jump off of them quickly are just so similar. It's kind of subconsciously a lot of times it's hard for me to separate them in my brain. Doesn't help Floyd like standing on my feet for some reason. Okay. You know, I fed you, Floyd. I'm not sure what you want, buddy. And I, I let you outside. Oh, okay, well. Oh, come on! Really? No, oh, that was just annoying. Like, the lip of that platform had to actually have hitbox on it. The thing is, I feel like I was I was doing fine, and then I just... I don't know. You get to a point where you start, like, overthinking things.
Yeah, I appreciate the aesthetic a lot, but it, there's definitely some certain things here and there that could have helped with like depth perception and stuff. Ah. I mean, one of the easy fix I imagine would be adding your shadow to these blocks. The ones that like explode or whatever. Oh, what the hell? What? I don't know what happened there. Because I did the same thing I always do. But he didn't... He didn't shift his momentum to wrap around. He just kept going. Like, I felt like you even saw my guy turn in midair. That's... I'm really confused about what happened right there. Unless, like, somehow I just did that, did it wrong that time. But that, like, never happens. Now I'm, like, now I'm, like, overthinking it. Like, th those parts were never a problem for me. But now that that happened, I'm, like... I'm gonna start, like, overcorrecting and stuff. I don't know what the hell happened. It sucks that that was like on a farther part of it too. Maybe I just, I don't know, I dashed earlier or something. I need to not think about it. Don't think, just do. Okay, let's not make that same mistake I made last time. Okay. Oh. Wait, is that a- Oh god. I wasn't sure what was going on. Do I jump? I'm not sure what was going on there. Like, for some reason, it, like, it almost looked like one you were supposed to jump over, but it almost looked like... It wasn't positioned the same way. Like, I jumped over the first one, but I don't know if that was supposed to... If that was what I was supposed to do. Damn it. We were, like, we were, like, at the end there. But that one, I, f it, I wasn't getting a good read on what I was meant to do, because... The line was going straight through the middle. I could have jumped on that, right? I was it looked taller than it was maybe. I don't know. Like I panic dashed at the first one cuz I didn't think I was going to make it on top of it, but then that made me make it on top of it. But that I don't know. It looked like it was too tall. So I, I, try, I started going around, but I wasn't ready to go around because I was going to try to jump on top of it first. Like these ones you clearly go around because look at how tall they are. Like I almost feel like that's on purpose. Like, for some of these I had to do runs where I just focus on collecting the things, another where I played. I'm not even like trying to collect the things, I don't even care about those. I'm just, well I do, but I'm not overthinking about it. I just don't know what I was meant to do 
Was there a thing on top of it? Because in that case, that means you do jump on top of it. I don't know. I just saw the wall come in and I just froze up. Like, these walls, clearly, you have to go around them. These ones, you can clearly... You can't go around them. When we got to whatever the hell that was, I was just like... I was confused. Hopefully, I could figure it out this time around. And yeah, now I could definitely see how, like, not having a checkpoint would be frustrating when it's like, wait, what do I even do here? This one you could jump on. This one, can you jump on it? You can. So the, I think you can ju God damn. Can you jump on this? I don't know. Damn it. I can't tell if you could jump on that. And then I'm not ready because I don't know which one I'm gonna do. And then I just pick a thing at the last second. So you know what? I'm just gonna f focus on going around that next time. Cause I can't decide and it's killing me every time. Like, there, n I'm not doing anything risky. I'm just trying to, like, figure out what do I do there. Because the little collectibles are always just on the way anyways. Hey, Ronnie Brown. How's it going? Well, we were pretty chill for most of it, but this this one has uh, been a little rough. I'll probably wrap up after I finish this room. Lloyd, please. Okay, so re remember, go around the third one, I think, whatever. We'll, we'll know what it looks like when we get there. Go around it, basically. Go up here. That's good. Oh, God. Okay, and then go around this one. Focus on going around it. Okay, whatever. Oh, that's a thing I gotta grab? Okay. Ah, oh, damn it! See, I did it again. I kept thinking I'm gonna overshoot it. That was nothing. All I had to do was land on the thing. I think. I don't know. And that looked like it was like the end of it too. It, it's hard enough, you know, estimating the uh, depth of the platform when it's not moving. It's also weird, like, these rooms are just completely silent except some very subtle ambience. Oh my god! Why did I do that? 
I don't know what I did right there. That's never happened before. I guess I just have to... Have a little bit of a shortcut. Well, I don't think the speedrun would look much different than the normal plane, to be honest, because you have to wait for these platforms, unless there's like some really crazy glitch you can do. Like a Donkey Kong Country uh, minecart shortcut where you just jump off the off the stage at a certain point and then you find a secret barrel and it like teleports you to the end of the stage. Have a feeling they're not gonna find one of those here. Oh my god. I'm not ready. Ah oh, damn it. This just feels like one of those rooms where you could have just did it on like your first or second try if you didn't like psych yourself out on things that you're not sure about. But since you did that, then suddenly it's like you start goofing up on things that you wouldn't be goofing up on. Like this room doesn't seem like it's really that hard, honestly. It's just those parts where I don't know. Like, Celeste is another thing where it's like, oh, like, yeah, no, these rooms are insanely hard and you need to, like, m figure out how to do, like, every aspect of the room perfectly, pretty much. Whereas this just feels like, I mean, it's kind of the same thing the whole time. You're just, you're just zipping around a corner or you're jumping over th a thing. It just, it's just long. And then because of the room, it's kind of hard to judge distances on things sometimes. Like that, like, that's not, that shouldn't be a part where you fail on when you know how to, when you've just been doing it that whole time. It's just, you start doing the same thing so much, you just start zoning out. Sorry, I, I know I hate when I like I'm stuck on a part in a game and you guys just kind of watching the same thing over and over again And then I run out of things to talk about and then the only thing I can comment on is when I when I fail So so at that point it's literally just like oh no damn it. Ah uh. And then I'm, I'm not even like the entertaining type of like Failing at a game because I don't I don't think I do like an amusing rage. I just kind of seethe. And I just go like, here's the problem with this. <laughs> or here's why I'm failing so badly. Or, or I chastise myself for failing at something that I shouldn't be failing at. Then I also can't read the chat so much either because I have to concentrate so much. Oh, I look over at the chat. I shouldn't, but I do, but... Okay. Because at this part, it's like, okay, we're at... Oh, 
Okay, so this is where jump over, jump over, and then go around here. And then I, I jumped right here, I think. And that's all it was. And I just freaking screwed up there like 10 tries ago. Okay, good. Oh, yeah. Oh, they, they added a demo. That's cool. Um, I don't think it was a stressful environment making the game. I think I felt a little stressful because of the tension of I was trying to beat that. But good, we did it. Fax says, just know I died a ton on this one when I had the double jump. The funny thing is fact... Fact. The funny thing is fact, uh... I don't even know if a double jump would have necessarily made things better. Or easier, rather. Um, just for the fact of, like... Well, it depends, I guess. But say I was, like, already used to, like, doing that without a double jump and I was getting really close to beating it, and then suddenly I had a double jump. That would probably, um, possibly actually make me have to like relearn the course in a way, because then I have to start implementing that double jump. But uh, yeah, that was, that was tricky. Okay, uh, can I make that? Once again, like, I can't tell if I can make that or not. You can. Like, I don't know what it is. It's so hard to, to figure out. So next time I get to a save point, I will, uh, or maybe I could just go back to that save point that's in this area. We'll probably wrap up. And I will, I will keep playing this. I'll do at least one more stream of this. Uh, hi, stranger. I'm using, uh, just a dash jump. So you can jump once and you could dash once and you could do it in either order, which is pretty cool from that aspect. Call me Poi. I run this tavern together with my pops, although he doesn't like to tell customers. I'm the brains behind this business, really. Pops has gotten pretty old, make sure our prices are fair, and then we have enough blue fire. Oh, the title of the game came up. Travelers like yourself should definitely carry some fire. Would you like to buy blue fire? I guess it's the name of the game. Um, Pure Essence Elixir restores health. So is this an item... Wait, is this just the health thing that I already have two of? It is, huh? So I, I can't... But I can buy an extra slot, and that's more important once if I have enough money later. Uh, you can save yourself if you're quick. Makes it easier to jump over obstacles without ledge grabbing accidentally. Other than that, doesn't change much. I guess that makes sense if you have a little extra chance of readjusting yourself. Greetings, nice to see a new face. My name's Bremer. Bremer. Uh, Bremer, whatever. I run this tavern with my daughter Poi. Provide food, water, blue fire. Ultra preside shelter to travelers. Uh, did he, didn't he say food and shelter already? No, food and water. Uh, you don't look like you'll be staying much. Help an old man out. In the name of the queen, are your books missing? Travel off into the graveyard. Last time I went, I was scared off by shadows. Drop the personal belonging there. If you give me a key, I could go. Oh, there we go. We know what we're doing next stream. If you happen to find my last treasure, please bring it back. Gotcha. Cool. I'm gonna just steal their stuff, apparently, because I'm the good guy. Crates are destructible too. Is it Link's Awakening where you can actually steal from the merchant, but then they change your name to Thief? Like everyone calls you Thief throughout the rest of the game? Dead Rat. Doesn't look too useful. Okay. That's nice. Oh, you could close them? That's. I don't think I've ever seen a game where there's chests you find stuff in 
where you can close them afterwards. That's interesting. Just check out this tavern a bit more, then I will head to the safe spot. And then next time we'll go to the graveyard. Yikes. Burak, you scared me. What? What am I doing? Uh, okay, fine. I was stealing. <gasps> but let me tell you something. Stealing is an art in itself. Okay, loop on the third. See, the old tavern keeper has no idea I'm here. You should join me. We could split the loot. It's important, however, you have a big enough pouch so you could carry all the loot. Lucky for you, I have an extra one right here. Oh, are you interested in buying a small pouch? I already have a small pouch. Does that mean you'll have two small pouches? Hang on. Pretty sure we have a small pouch. Oh, we have a basic pouch. And then the next one's small. Okay. Fair enough. How dare you steal from them? As I go around stealing everything. We will have to get that pouch, though. That is very important. So we have two... We need 3,500 for this place because... He has a pouch for 2,000. She has a blue fire slot, an extra slot for 1,500. Oh my god, that guy's just ransacking the place. When you leave. There's a merchant in town you can sell your ores for extra cash. Ooh, okay. So this is kind of like the town of the, of the game, okay. It's just kind of weird because most towns, everything is kind of easily accessed. For this town, it's like, you have to do kind of tricky platforming just to get back to, like, see that? Just to get back to a place that's kind of a really significant place to go to. Which I don't know, like, if that... Is that something that's, like, in Metroidvanias? Like, I think in Simon's Quest, that's kind of, like, the one Metroidvania I played a little bit of. Well, not the one. I've been doing more lately, like, recently, but, uh... I never beat Simon's Quest, though. I only ever <laughs> played it a little bit. Because I don't know where the hell to go or what to do. And the game has this no notorious problem where the people tell you nonsense. They're supposed to be giving you tips, but half of the tips are just either complete lies or they're just nonsense. Um, do Metroidvanias often have main hubs with important, like, stores and places that are actually, like, it's tricky to reach the places every time you have to go back to them. Like, if I want to go back to that store, it's not an easy trip. I have to, like, platform carefully. Anyways, we're going to save and rest. That's going to be it for tonight. I'm glad we we beat the thing. I am having fun with this game. It's, it's, a, it's a cute indie game. You know, there's issues here and there, but it's an indie game. Overall, I do enjoy what it's doing and I'm curious to see more so I'm at least gonna do one more stream of this we'll see how far I decide to keep going but uh yeah that's gonna be it for tonight uh hubs aren't uncommon but usually the platforming in metroidvanias is more there for flavor than for content okay gotcha all right well you all have a great rest of your week we beat Monday, on to Tuesday, the rest of them are coming. Sleep well, and I'll catch all you next time.